Hey, what's going on? My name is Andrew. I'm a director in Central Florida, and today we're gonna to be breaking down a music video that I did for under $1,000. So a year ago today, we dropped the spin back video, and looking back on it, it's just so cool to see the growth since then, but also just reflect on how much fun we had making it. Um, and if you haven't seen the video, we're actually gonna look at some clips right now. So when WAP came to me with the song and told me he wanted a music video for it, I was really excited because of the lighthearted nature of it. And it's just a fun song to listen to. And I know that we would have a lot of like creative flexibility for the video. So that made me excited. And then when we talked about it more, it was like, we came up with this prom idea, this like retro prom that the whole video would be based around. And we just built it off of that. So when it came to pre-production, we didn't pull like a bunch of references and I didn't come up with like an elaborate shot list. It was really just, I knew I wanted WAP in the center of a group of people while we performed. And we also knew that we wanted to use the Busta Rhymes camera trick where you have the artist perform to a slower version of the song and then in post you bring it back up and then it looks like this hyper speed version but they're still on time with the lyrics. We knew that that was gonna be a central part to the video because it was specific to that style that we were looking for. And we knew we wanted to go in and out of those kind of hyper speed performance shots as well. Then we went out and scouted locations. As we were scouting, we found a local high school that would let us use their gym. And that was a game changer for the video. Now, as for gear, I shot almost everything on my 6K Pro, but I did use this, um, Canon G7X for some of those VHS shots, those zoom ins at the car wash, stuff like that, just to kind of like add to the shot diversity. Now for our lighting setups, it was very simple, especially in the dance scene. We had our one key light as an aperture 120D. And as you can see, we had a blue gel over it. On camera left, we had a knockoff brand 60 watt light with an orange gel on it. And at the time I was thinking of this orange teal look for the dance floor as it was accompanied by the dance lights that we had going on. But looking back on it, I decided to craft the look more in the color grade than the actual lighting setup that we use. And I'm happy with how it turned out. It's more of a golden nostalgic feel. Behind the DJ booth, we used these two strip lights, as you can see. I think they fit the scene for what we had to work with and they provided a great backlight. Other than that, we just had some typical school dance lights hitting the divider in the gym to just bring home that prom feel to the best of our ability. So for the dance scenes, I almost exclusively used my wide angle lens, which is a Tokina 11 to 14 millimeter photo lens. This allowed me to just fit everybody in the dance floor in one shot. And I think the wide angle just fits the energy of a dance scene. Now the car wash scene was all naturally lit. We went out at golden hour and the car wash that we picked actually was facing the sunset. So we had a little bit of extra time with the sun. And we were probably there for about 45 minutes to an hour just grabbing all these shots. And one of my favorite shots in the video is this mirror shot, just because it gives us a different feel, a change of pace to the video. I used my diesel film zoom lens for this shot. It was at 55 millimeters so we could get some depth of field. And yeah, I think it just switched up the feel of the scene and gave us a break from all those wide angle shots that I had been using. Keep in mind for this video to be under a thousand dollars, we really didn't deal with any equipment rentals. We decided to go with the gear that I own and that made it a lot easier to stay within this kind of budget. The main expenses we had were like props and wardrobe. We had the balloons, the streamers for the prom. We had to pick up haze. And I think we spent like $10 on water at the car wash to wash the car. I think my biggest takeaway from the process of making this music video is not letting my creativity be diminished by the budget or the equipment available or the camera available or the lenses available or any of that, but rather just maximizing what you have and letting the ideas like spring from that and, and not putting pressure on, oh, I can't do this shot or I can't do this movement, but rather like, what can I do and how can I make this look the best or how can I get shot diversity with the equipment that I do have? If you have any more questions or you feel like I missed something about the video, feel free to comment below and hopefully I got the answer for you. If you have any suggestions for content you'd like to see, you can let me know that as well. All right, so I'm, I'm ending the video.